Hi guys, I am Nicholas Lietzau, one of the project leads and the writer for Enderall and Enderall Forgotten Stories. Ever since Enderall came out in 2016, one of the most commonly asked questions was whether there would be a new Enderall, a, or even better, a standalone commercial game in the spirit of Enderall, a fantasy RPG. And now that one of Shuri Ai's founding fathers and one of Enderall's developers, uh, Dennis, published um, Dreadful River, a tower defense roguelike game um, on Steam, uh, uh, we figured that now might be a good time to clarify the situation. Now, before I even attempt to answer this question, uh, there are two things I have to clarify first. The first is that there is no Shuri Ai team as such anymore. And by that, I mean that the team who originally developed Enroll um, isn't a unit anymore. We developed Enroll as a core team of seven to nine members, uh, a lot of temporary members and obviously some freelancers like uh, the voice actress. And um, ever since the game came out, we kind of went our own ways. Some of us got hired by commercial game studios. Some of us, you know, made th did their own thing. And uh, some of us decided not to break into the games industry altogether. Personally, I got hired by THQ Nordic in 2017, where I led the writing for Spellforce 3 and the two add-ons, Soul Harvest and uh, Fallen God. And ever since 2021, I've had the great honor to lead the writing for the Gothic remake with Alchemia Interactive in Spain, which is an amazing opportunity because Gothic was actually the first RPG I ever played. And I played the hell of the first and the second part, and I also played Risen 1 and Risen 2. In that sense, it's probably helpful to think of the new Shuri Ai team, the developers of Dreadful River, as a, an offshoot of Shuri Ai. It's very similar to what I did with Dreams of the Dying. It carries some of the Shuri Ai spirit and it's created by one of the founding members, the integral uh, team members, but it's obviously its own thing. Now, the second issue is the word Enderol itself. If you followed my novel project, Dreams of the Dying, you might have heard that there was a trademark claim that forced me to disconnect the novel from the games entirely. And for the same reason, we could never use Enderol or the story world or the universe of Win or the characters in a commercial game. It's just out of the cards because if this game were to become even remotely successful, someone would come out of the woodworks and claim their share. And Germany has a very strict copyright law on top of that. And uh, this is also a risk that no publisher would probably take. Now, to finally answer your question, will there be another end role, as in a dark fantasy RPG with a story in the spirit of the game you played? Uh, it should be clear by now that I'm only speaking for myself here, but um, personally, I don't think it's out of the cards, and in fact, I would love to create such a game. However, not now, not in the immediate future. The reason for this is that, first of all, I would like to get some more experience um, in the RPG genre, but also in the AAA development, which I am doing right now with Gothic. And also, unless one of my novels really, really blows up, the most realistic way that this could happen is through a publisher. And uh, even if we decide to do this with a publisher, I would like to have a strong IP going in. This is just a very, very powerful bargaining chip because um, it's a lot easier to secure funding this way. Yeah, and all this is why I'm currently focusing most of my efforts on the Gothic game and uh, my book series, The Twelfth World. Um, and some other stories I have in the works and as for what the future will bring and when we will see. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer. Until then, thank you for listening. I hope this clarified the situation for you.